Ahoy, mateys. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Auntie Casey, and welcome to Auntie Casey Creative Kids Show. As you can see, we're wearing hats, and there are boats around. Yeah. So we're going to be doing two boat crafts today. Uh, or one that can float. <laughs> right. So let's take this off for a minute and get started. We're going to make one that can float and one that can just stand up yeah. like a model. This one can float. It's not going to last very long because it's paper. Right? And then this one is just... It can just stand up. It's, it's, it's a like model. A, um, yeah. yeah. Alright, so let's get started. So the first one we're going to do actually is the one that can float. And uh, you start with a normal sheet of paper. Yeah. You know, usually, yes. Usually, we make this into a square, but not this time. Okay? We're keeping it as a rectangle, normal 8.5 by 11 sheet. And. Uh, Thank you. Yep. So, the reason why I thought of doing this craft today was because um, it was rainy. And then I started thinking about songs. Songs? And, yeah. And then I started thinking about folk songs. Folk songs? And then I started to think about folk song called Johnny Grutto. Folk song called Johnny Grutto? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you know it. Yes. <laughs> and so as soon as we were finished making the boat, I'll sing that song. Well, Jesus and I will sing that song. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is fold the paper in half. So we're going to fold along the long side. No? 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 Nope. Look at what I'm doing. Yeah. This is the long side and this is the short side. You're going to fold the short sides together. I thought it was going to be folding the long side and the short side together. Like origami. Folding the short side together. The next thing you're going to do is fold it in half. Because we need to make a, a mark for the middle line. So do you have that? So no, far? not yet. I'm still trying to get it straight. Okay. So the first thing we do is fold the short sides together. So we fold it in half. I got it. And then fold it this way in half. The next thing we're going to do is fold here down this way. Like that to the half line. Oh, I didn't do it to the half line. My eyes fold me. Half line? Mm hmm. No. Wait. So you're folding this. This is the folded side. Don't fold the open side down. You're folding the folded side down. So do we have to fold it backwards or? No. You fold the folded side oh. down to the middle line. Oh. Like so. Continue. The next one you're going to do. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Like so. And Every time I do this, it ends up one being longer than the other. That's okay. The next thing we're going to do is fold this up. To this line like that and then we're going to fold the edges over so it's going to be like that All right and then we're going to fold this side up this way over the folded corners So let me show you. We fold this up, we put the corners in, we turn it around and we fold it this up like that. 
the next thing we're going to do is open the body take your thumbs push it in and open the body and fold it down into a square like so no it's not a square it should be pretty much close to a square close yeah this is why it's not a square the next thing we're gonna do is fold this part up now you don't have to fold it all the way up you could fold it partially up which part is that like this it's the back part or the front so the part that we left open underneath here so, so from here you close it and this bottom part here you're gonna fold it up and you don't have to fold it up all the way. It's best if you don't. And the next side, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to fold it up. All right, fold the other side up. So I'm going to fold mine. Turn it around. I'm going to fold the other one. The next thing I'm going to do, again, is pop it open this way. Yep. If you crease your folds properly, you'll get a nice sharp finish. And uh, uh -uh. cover your yarn. <laughs> the next thing you're gonna do is just hold these parts here and pull it open. While you're pulling it open, you're tucking it down. Okay, so we're back and as I said, you just pop it open like that, and while you're doing it, you kind of fold down the edges like this. Okay? All right, and that's your boat. And so, let's see if I can float my boat. <laughs> I have some water here. I believe that orange one is a pirate boat, and this one's a marine boat. And I'm going to just put it in. There. There you go. It's floating. The boat <gasps> is afloat. Now, this construction paper might last a little bit um, longer than normal paper. No, actually. Shorter? Yeah. Why? It's construction paper. Yeah, but it's, it's it, to me, it seems more porous. Right? And like it absorbs water faster. Let me see. Right. Well, you have the same thing. So. Let's try it with this one. Mine's tougher though. No, you have the same texture paper. Oh, okay. Try this one. Yeah, I think this is gonna last a lot longer than construction paper. Uh, I don't. I don't think so. No. No. Well, Usually, normal paper just just well, as soon as it hits the ocean, it, it starts to dissolve. All right. Well, at least we can do a test. Right. Could I try? That's a science experiment. Sure. Hey, my arm's acting much better. Much better than what? It's at the bottom there. It doesn't show much of it, like, dissolving. No, if you look on the inside, you can see where it's starting to... Break down. Yep. Exactly. Exactamente. <laughs> All right, so let's leave that there. So the next boat we're going to do, we're going to need yes. our typical... Right? Yes, that one, the model. We're going to need our typical square. Origami people. Yeah, preferably origami people. Actually, this is just bring a crayon there for me, please. Okay. And to get your square, again, you fold this. Short side, bring the box of crayons, scissors. Oh. Short side to the long side. I thought you, I thought you didn't, I thought you meant something else because color pencils are not crayons. Right. So where are you now? Oh. I'm just showing them how to make the square, but you already have a square. Right. So, four short side to the long side, make a triangle, fold this excess down and you're going to cut that off. Right? When you cut it off, 
you're going to get your square. So starting with the square and diagonal, pull it diagonally, point to point. So we've been having a little bit of technical difficulties here, but corner to corner, you open it back, corner to corner, fold, you have your scissors, fold, make sure the folds are tight, the tighter the folds, the smoother the finish, alright, and then from here, you open it up, and you're going to fold, in half this way so that the edges um, meet rather than the corners. Now at this point what I want to do is um, I'm going to color this side so on the side where the folds are pointed up, the half folds are pointed up just for effect. I'm not going to do too much coloring. I just want to show you what happens when you use real origami paper, which usually has two different colors on. Or two different patterns. Two different patterns. Sometimes it's a solid color and a pattern, or two different colors, right? So there you go. Colored green. I'm going to squeeze this and close it. And when I close it, there's flaps on this side and open flaps on this side. The next thing I'm going to do is just tuck this all the way in. So you need to fold it. Yes, and smooth your edges. This is Yes, all the way in and then you tuck this side all the way in also so what do you do next oh yeah now I remember like this and then the next thing you're going to do is fold half down this is a sail and bring it up but not all the way up like so and then you're gonna tuck it in like that and to make it stand you just fold it this way as we mentioned earlier this is more of a model than a boat that, that floats. floats right wait so that will be float this kind of boat. This is a model. And you can color it whatever color you want. So, Jesus, we're going to sing that song. Yes. Johnny Grotto. So, this is a song from Trinidad. It's called Johnny Grotto. And it's an old folk song. It's an old folk song. And it's about a fisherman. Do you watch your fisherman's hat? Yay. Hey. This, this one is mine. But I thought that was a pirate's hat. Well, he's a fisherman too. What does he eat? <laughs> um, stolen goods. Anyway, so Johnny Grotto was a fisherman's son. Yeah, 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 my boy. Well, can you sit a little bit higher? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Johnny Grotto was a fisherman's son. Yeah, 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 yeah my boy. Johnny Grotto was a fisherman's son. It's a long time ago. Johnny Grotto was a fisherman's son. Yeah, 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 my boy. Johnny Grotto was a fisherman's son. It's a long time ago. The sea is so rough and the sail pulling tough. Yeah, 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 my boy. The sea is so rough and the sail pulling tough. It's yeah, a long time ago. We catch plenty fish, we go cook a nice dish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We catch plenty fish, we go cook a nice dish. It's a long time ago. The land is in sight, we go rich before night. Yeah, 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 my boy. The land is in sight, we go rich before night. It's a long time ago. 
Thank you so much for joining us. And I hope you enjoyed our boat craft. <laughs> Bye, like, share, subscribe. See you next time. I'm Auntie Casey. This is Jesus. Thank you. Bye.